Hello. In the last two uh, videos that you've seen, um, I introduce you to the concepts of externalities, negative and positive externalities. And within that, we uh, saw diagrams, the basic diagram for negative externalities and the basic diagram for positive externalities and how market failure occurs because of over or under production in those markets. But with this video, video 19, I'd like to show uh, you some more diagrams where we look a little deeper at externalities, um, showing that the externalities that, that occur may be costs, external costs or external benefits resulting from separately the production or the consumption of the good. And we can show that in slightly different diagrams. So here we're looking a little deeper. So here we are, video 19, a little deeper with externalities, separating production and consumption externalities uh, on diagrams. Okay, so an example we can use is the car industry. The car industry undoubtedly creates externalities um, both in the production of the cars and then the using or the consumption of the cars. And I've tried to show that here. So negative externalities in the car industry. During production, there is noise pollution, factory emissions, there's pollution from the production of steel as well. All of these negative externalities, these external costs occur even before that car gets out onto the streets. This is why some people say that green cars are a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a joke, you know, electric cars and so on, because a lot of externalities and pollution are caused even before that car ever gets out onto the street. But then once out on the street, the consumption of the car creates road congestion, creates exhaust fumes, creates accidents, road damage, because all the cars are using up the road and creating damage, which has to be fixed, noise pollution again, and of course the problem of abandoned cars, which uh, cause a health hazard and uh, are unsightly and cost something to be removed. So the, you know, here I've separated external, negative externalities in the car industry between production and consumption. And we can explore that on diagrams. So let's draw a negative externality diagram showing production uh, externalities. If an industry creates negative externalities during production, then this is how we can show it on a diagram. Of course, we start all externality diagrams like that, showing the market-generated level of output. Now, if the externality, this is marginal private benefit, marginal private cost. And that's the level of output that we would get if we left things to the market mechanism because buyers and sellers only consider their private costs and their private benefits. Now, if we expand that to show the negative externalities caused by production, we simply draw the diagram that we're used to. We add costs, costs which lead to external costs, which lead to us drawing now the social costs, the marginal social costs, the private costs, plus the costs, um, the, social, uh, the external costs, which make social costs. Uh, and we add it to costs because this is during production. It's firms who pay costs. And that shows us the socially optimal level of output. So uh, here's the diagram more neatly. Um, the extra costs, the external costs are added. This is the diagram you're already familiar with. And it shows that the market would overproduce beyond the socially optimal point. But if I now draw negative consumption externalities as a diagram, you'll see a difference. We start in the usual way. Marginal private benefits, marginal private costs. That's the market generated level of output. But now, if I want to show that the social benefits are less than the private benefits, you see here, when the, the, the the, extern the negative externality occurs during consumption, there's less benefit for society. The private benefits may be there, but because of the damage done during the consumption of these goods, the rest of society gets a kind of negative benefit, so that I, I plot the marginal social benefits earlier than the private benefits, reflecting the fact that there is a negative of benefit for the rest of society or the third parties showing again that the socially optimal level is below the market um, and there's, there's the welfare loss. Uh, and, I'll, and that's a very poor diagram, I've drawn it very badly, so let me show you a nice 
neat version of it. There it is. Negative consumption externalities, where the social benefits are plotted below the private benefits, um, showing that the gain, if left to the market forces, there will be market failure, the market overproduces. Okay, that's negative externalities. Now let's move to positive externalities. And, um, and let's draw a diagram for positive production externalities. Okay, this is when an industry creates benefits and costs and the market generates the market level of output but is ignoring the external benefits that are occurring. External benefits during the production of the, of the good. So, we start in our same way again, marginal private benefits, marginal private costs, market generated level of output. Every diagram starts like that. Now, if there is positive production externalities, the costs which we plotted here will actually be less than that. There are, we can draw it like this, uh, because the, the costs fall back because of the, uh, the during production, there are, if you like, um, uh, uh, th there are no additional costs, it's, it's, it's less costs because of the production. And the socially optimal level is higher, and what we have here is a welfare gain. So uh, I'll give you a tidy version of that diagram there. So again, if, if it happens during the production of the good, then it's a, an impact on costs, and the costs are not, so, not as great if we include the positive externalities. The private costs were here, but with the external benefits, we can plot the cost at a lower level, showing a greater level of output is good for society. But the market fails because the market underproduces. If the positive externalities are generated during consumption, then uh, we can show that on another diagram, which is this diagram. Oh, marginal private benefits, marginal private costs, and market generated level of output and uh, as we start every diagram like that but now I'm going to show that in fact during consumption there are more benefits so the social benefits are greater marginal social benefits there aren't any other costs this is also the marginal social cost of course and the socially optimal level is greater than the market generated level and there is the welfare gain to be enjoyed and that's not a new diagram you've seen that diagram before in uh, video 18 it's 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 the basic diagram for positive externalities and and, and, and that's a tidy version of it um, so the, the the difference here is the external benefits enjoyed by consumers uh, by third parties during the consumption of the good. Um, I've drawn it non-parallel here, that's probably correct, uh, and, uh, but parallel is fine. And you see that the market should be producing this much, but the market only produces, underproduces, it only produces this much, there's the market failure. So the, this, this video simply expanded your, 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 your knowledge of diagrams and externalities from two diagrams, negative and positive, which is fine just to know those two, to four diagrams, acknowledging that the, the external costs or the external benefits in negative or positive externalities can be sub separated into being production externalities or consumption externalities. If you're watching this video but not doing A-level, perhaps you're at first year university, perhaps you're doing the IB, the International Baccalaureate, you do need to know these are uh, all four of the diagrams. But even if you're only doing A-level and you only need to know two diagrams, it's good to know these diagrams because it enhances and enriches your knowledge of, of externalities. Okay, so that's video 19. Um, next video, video 20, uh, looks at how we, we, the government, state, tries to correct market failure. Okay, so I'll see you in that video. Bye-bye.